Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah? Oh, cool. Hello, my name is Zoe Burns, a CA or community advisor for this year's cohort. I chose Semester in the City because I knew it would be an opportunity to experience something unfamiliar. As a senior political science major at UMass Dartmouth, I have completed almost all of my undergraduate requirements. I added two minors in data analytics and urban studies to expand my knowledge and try something new. Even though these have been useful, I needed to learn outside of the classroom. This experience and my internship at Pine Street Inn as a strategic initiatives fellow have given me exactly what I was looking for. Having to adapt to an unfamiliar experience for a whole semester, I knew I would see growth in myself and my ability to go into the world and set up to the plate. This is all until I had to navigate uh, public transportation. <laughs> Over the summer, I had an internship at Boston Housing Authority and lived in Mission Hill. If you don't know, this is another town in Boston not too far from here. This summer was my first time relying on public transportation for a daily commute. This experience gave me confidence in my navigation skills around the city because it was simple. All I had to do was walk up my front door, down a hill, take a right, take a left, and there I was at the orange line for an easy 20 minute ride. Now, any other time I roamed the city in the summer, I drove. In doing so, I quickly learned why 20-something percent of the population don't own cars here. <laughs> Even so, I wasn't going to try something new if I wasn't forced to. I went with an easy choice and didn't adapt until I had no other decision here at Semester in the City. Coming into this program, I truly thought I could wiggle my way around and somehow find an easy way to take the same route I took in the summer to and from my fall internship. The MBTA map in the station just looked like a bunch of colorful squiggly lines to me, so I told myself, yeah, we're going to stick to orange. However, little did I know, by trying so hard to hold on to the comfortability of what I knew, I was only making my commute longer and more complicated than it needed to be. I tried this route on the first day of my internship, and to no surprise, I was late. I was late. <laughs> my mentor brushed this off because she's the best, but I couldn't shake my own feeling of disappointment. First impressions are everything, and I was late. I knew I needed to figure out a different way. I didn't want to have to adjust and stray from familiarity. I would be setting myself up to feel uncomfortable and inadequate on an adventure. But I knew, after my first day, I had no other choice than to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Most experiences I've had this fall have required me to embrace the unknown, to accept that I may not know a single thing about the colorful squiggly lines, but one of them will get me where I need to go. Trying so hard to stay in places that are normal to us, that are familiar to us, is not be growth. I have grown because this program threw me in the ring of fire and said, figure it out. This is not in a helpless or neglectful way. They told us to figure it out because they knew we could. And we did. I did. I figured out the best commute to my internship, don't worry. But more importantly, I figured out how to trust myself. I've always felt more comfortable with a familiar and predictable plan of action. And although having a plan is always valuable, if someone were to ask me if they should take a leap of faith on a path they may know nothing about, I would now encourage them to do so with full trust and full faith. Because no matter how we fall, if we do, we fall forward and we learn. Today, if I, if I was asked for directions in the train station, there's an 85% chance I can tell a stranger where to go. Even if there's an unexpected construction and we have to chase down a shuttle bus like I did last week, we'll make it to our destination. I may not know what my future holds or what spaces I'll have to adapt to. I will be uncomfortable but I'm no longer reluctant to change. I will step on the train, no matter the color, navigate while en route, and no matter what, enjoy the knowledge and growth that comes with the ride. Thank you.